Hello friends, today we are going to learn how to give amazing paint splash effect in Photoshop. So let's begin our tutorial. So this is our model and I already select this one by using pen tool. So this is our model and this is our background. First we are going to take a new document. Just click on file, go to new and take this time little bit bigger size so i'm going with 1920 into 1080 pixel then select this one then press create button so your document is created now we are going to place our background image first so this is our background image we just drag and drop this one in our new document adjust the size of your document or image okay this one is perfect sorry so this this one is perfect and our next work we just select this model so first we are going to crop this one and we select this one by using quick selection tool so this is quick selection tool and start selection so this one is selected and just go to edit fill and select content aware then press ok ok so our work is almost done and just deselect this one go to clone stamp tool and select outer area by holding alt key and apply this increase the size of brush do the same process just press outer side and apply so this one is funny and so your work is completed and go to filter blower first we are going to duplicate this one just duplicate this one and go to filter select blower and gases blower i think the amount of blower is 18 percent is perfect or increase little bit more okay this one is perfect and the second work we just place our model in our new document so this one is placed here is perfectly placed and we just select our model again by using quick selection tool and just click on selection and mask select on refine edge brush and we are going to apply refine edge brush in outer part of hair then click on decontaminated color then go to output just select new layer then press ok so you can see that the outer edges are removed and the hair selection is perfectly looks original just duplicate this one this one is just for backup zoom your image and we are going to cut the image model face so how how we cut this one just using laser tool and we are going to cut the face of our model i think this one is perfect then so your selection is completed just go to or um, press control x plus v so this one is done and we just place this face in that area okay or sorry 
select the both layer and minus and place this one in upper portion okay and select your model face again and place in that area now we are going to provide amazing 3d look so what we have to do we just take a new layer go to brush oh sorry go to laser tool and we are going to apply this like that sorry no and again click on that portion and round up okay this one is done and we just apply solid color first just click on solid color and we select this one like I think this one is I think this one is perfect our next work we take again one blank layer go to brush make foreground color black opacity is 41 is perfect and just increase the size of brush and apply this okay so it's provide amazing 3d look create clipping mask and apply this so it's look like a face but 3d face so our next step we just add some paint so first we all first we all just adjust the color of our model so first go to camera raw and increase the contrast 17% darkness and saturation increase the saturation also because this one is the very important part so 38 percent 17 percent minus whatever it then press ok do the same thing with this one go to filter camera raw decrease the such exposure increase this 27 percent is okay and also darker area black area and increase the saturation then press okay so our primary work is completed and our uh, we are going to uh, going in our next step so this is paint splash so we just select this one by using laser tool so I select this area first and just sorry not in that portion I just take this one in our model area this one is very important part so be careful and take time okay go to edit and transform and warp so this one is done and just click on adjustment layer and go to hue saturation and adjust the saturation sorry first just click on colorized so this one is colorized and okay okay i think it's I think it's completely match 
ओके टेक मास्क लेयर जस्ट क्लिक ऑन पेंट एंड जस्ट क्लिक टेक मास्क लेयर गो टू ब्रश एंड वी आर गोइंग टू अप्लाई लिटिल विट ऑन आउटर एरिया सो इट्स लुक्स कम्प्लीटली ऑरिजिनल टू द सेम थिंग जस्ट मार्च बोथ लेयर एंड डुप्लीकेट दिस वन एंड सिंपली प्लेस इन अनदर एरिया लाइक दैट just select warp tool and do the same thing and again duplicate this one and place in upper area and click on mask and apply little bit so again duplicate this one so the the work is almost completed okay and our final we just click on our face and first we are going to duplicate this one okay and then click on hue saturation and adjust the color of the saturation take little bit time to make your adjustment perfect so i think this one is perfectly matched and we just click on mask layer go to brush and make this one 16% and apply this little bit do the same thing with another ones again do the same thing with another one just click apply size of brush so this one is perfect and we are going to adjust this one little bit so just click on that one sorry i think this one click on mask layer go to brush and we are going to apply little bit brush outside of this area the work is almost completed and we just select all the layer just merge this one and we just go to again in our hue saturation and now just adjust the saturation of the faces i think this one is perfectly matched okay so this one is completely matched and our work is almost completed and we just go to new layer go to brush and we just apply this one so black i think this one is perfect 16% is okay and we just apply little bit brush on that area do the same thing with another one just click on that area and apply the brush and do the same thing with this one also just take click on skin area and just hide this areas and again this one is very helpful and it's completely provide the amazing look so almost completed take a little bit time so this one is done so you can see that the effect is looks original and we just provide some more effect in our other side so what you have to do just hold this one just duplicate or just merge both layer and duplicate this one and we just take one behind this and now we are going to adjust this one like that
and this time we just adjust the color so what you have to do we just go to hue saturation and select this one and colorize click on colorized and we just select this one little bit black and increase the color of like this and take brown color I think this one is perfect and where it is this one just stretch this one like that so it's look original and amazingly it's provide you the 3d look and the next work our this one is very important so just merge the both layer and we just click on this layer and click on a smart tool so just click on this image and make duplicate this one and go to a smart tool sorry where it is this one is the smart tool and increase the size of brush and 80 percent is stick just sorry not like that just duplicate this one and adjust the brush and we just push this one and increase like that and also apply this one so this one is completed and do the same thing with this model face also just duplicate this one this one is just for backup and smart tool and stretch this one so the work is completed and our final work we just adjust the color of our complete work so just adjust this one so the work is done hope you like this tutorial if you like this tutorial please subscribe my channel okay thank you and goodbye see you see you soon with new tutorial